Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to take a look at creating a difficulty page, pretty much similar to how we created the category page, except we'll have a little bit of twist at the end, basically reusing the part of this between the two components. Okay. So let's go ahead. Standard procedure, get a directory in here. Call it difficulty. We can have to copy the name, escape, uh, alt insert again. Uh, another Vue.js file, paste this in here, home, underscore, file created, right? Control uh, tab to go back. Uh, let's just go ahead and uh, thinking about it, let's just copy everything, put this here, and let's go through replacing stuff. So, first of all, category, difficult. I struggle with spelling and uh, just to kind of glance over everything to make sure we're more or less replacing the correct stuff. So it looks all right. Uh, Alt A to execute. Escape. Uh, categories turn into difficulties. Uh, again, we can uh, search for the controller to look at it. So DC difficulty controller. If we take a look, copy this, select this, replace this, right? Pretty much the same thing. So difficulty ID, again, that's because we have this route or this method implemented, right? So uh, now uh, well, let's uh, go ahead uh, and uh, take a look at it, right? So backwards roll, if we go here, uh, there is the easy part. Uh, let's um, let's find a better place for it, right? Don't move that. Uh, let's try to single out the difficulty first. You can see it's kind of blended in there for uh, right now. So let's just do a little bit of maybe a little bit of margin. So that's fine. And then uh, subtitle. Two. Let's see how that looks. And that just uh, made it bold. Let's make it, put a one here. And let's say something along the lines of difficulty. Okay. So the difficulty is there. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, try to map it. All right. And you can see here in the trick where we're doing this bit here this is something really that we could be doing in the fetch function here although we're doing it here so something for us to take a look at later but for now uh, let's stick on the task what do we want we want to actually get the difficulty name and display that difficulty so where we have trick by id uh, let's also bring in difficulty by id right difficulty by id and now all we have to do is go into difficulties put this here and we're pretty much done. So going back uh, to the trick page, actually, let's make sure we got the name in here. Let's paste it in. And I think uh, let's actually handle this bit right now. We will create some data for the local state. And let's put the trick on here. So to start with, it's going to be null. And then we will have the difficulty as well. And uh, that can be null as well. Yeah, seems about right. Uh, let's now grab this part here and uh, let's get rid of the trick. We're going to go down here when, where we do the fetch and uh, let's go ahead and assign the trick from the fetch. And once we have the trick, that's when we know the difficulty, right? So that's when we can copy this, uh, look for the difficulty and grab the difficulty by ID. But instead we're going to use trick difficulty, right? And that's how we're going to get it assigned. And then where we have trick dot difficulty, we can go difficulty dot name. And first of all, I'm expecting to see an error, the same thing that we kind of seen here, right? So an error occurred. If we refresh it, I guess that's all right. If we go back an error, right? So there is something going on here. Uh, and actually, yeah, let's just do the same check, right? So we've uh, stepped, uh, we, we, we've been here before. So if 
we got nothing. Return an empty object, and we'll be all right there. Uh, let's just make sure that this is not causing any issues. So going to a different trick and going backwards seems to be working all right. I'm just going to peek at the console, make sure that there is nothing there, and that's cool. So uh, another way I can uh, detect that this difficulty thing is working is we got uh, the easy here. And uh, thinking about it, this is what I want to do. Let's go ahead, grab the difficulty, and let's put it here, right? So we can say easy difficulty, right? Or hard difficulty. And then this should be clickable, or maybe it will look uh, better as a chip next to the name. So let's actually try that, all right? Um, let's go V chip. I really like these chips. I don't know why. They're like, you know, three design points or something like that. I'm not sure. Um, all right, so easy difficulty uh, compared to the other chips, it's a little bit too big, all right? So simmer it down. Uh, however, I still don't still don't like how it's a, it's setting a little bit lower than the text. So let's do this. Let's put a uh, what's it called? A span around here. Um, span. All right. I don't know a better way to do this. This there was like a plugin for Visual Studio to surround or VS Code to surround with div. I never cared to learn it. So once I got the span, I'm gonna go ahead and put margin top two and seeing if putting a margin uh, margin on the top will do anything. So let's give it a little bit more. Looks like nothing is happening unless I am ballsing it up. Definitely seems like that should be happening uh, or something is resetting it or I can't, maybe I just can't put it on there. Let's try uh, what's it called, padding uh, 12 pixels. Let's see what that does. So let's try padding top. So we can see there's more padding. Let's uh, increase this 22. So that's clearly not doing anything. So I'm going to be testing this through the, through the browser because, you know, uh, why not? Um, let's grab the chip and let's uh, say margin, bottom, five pixels. That kind of raises it up. Let's see where we want to be, four pixels. Maybe I'm feeling a little bit uneasy because this text is smaller than the chip, but mar margin four seems to smooth it out a little bit. So what are we using here? Text H6, let's use text H, uh, what's called H5, right? So we're gonna make it a little bit bigger. That's all right. And let's remove the margin on here and we're gonna put it here, right? So margin all, let's go for two, okay. So let's give this hard refresh. Uh, so it just became a lot more awkward. Let's uh, go for one. Uh, let's put it only on the Y axis. Okay, let's only put it on the bottom axis. So we're gonna lift it up a little bit. All right, uh, let's try one more. Okay, uh, no, I liked the one, and now let's put a little bit on the left. So we're going to push away from the uh, text itself, right? Okay, so I think I like this. Now if we click on this, we can move to that difficulty. All right, a little bit of agonizing, but I don't know, maybe you can have some insight into my design process, if, if you can even uh, call that so. Uh, let's bind it to, we want to go to difficulty and uh, we want to grab a difficulty or we can just use, yeah, let's say difficulty ID. I think that's quite fitting. Uh, let's drop this chip down, format this. Okay, if we go there, there it is. So we can see all the tricks in the easy difficulty. For now, we only have the backwards roll. If we go to backflip, that's the medium difficulty. If we go there, uh, only the backflips here. And again, we kind of get the same component. The problem with this component now is that if we, let's close the trick stuff and it's pretty much between the 
uh, category and the difficulty one. If we want to change something with this component in one place, it has to, you know, change in the other place. So how do you abstract this? Uh, I will take we'll, we'll take a, we'll take a little detour because I, I want to show you mixins in case you have never used them. So first of all, let's create a directory. We'll call it mixins, and in here we'll create a trick uh, or we, uh, we want JavaScript file and we'll call it trick list. Right? Uh, you don't have to repeat this part uh, after me. This is just to kind of showcase uh, mixins if you haven't used them. Otherwise, just wait uh, for me to show this. I'm going to explain the problem and then we're going to proceed to making a component. Okay. Uh, so let's export default. And uh, this is pretty much how it goes. So where are we? We're on the difficulty page. Uh, so what do we need for this to function? We need a list of tricks, but this is again, this is something that we need here, right? So this is residing here. Uh, well, let's remove that space. I don't know what that is about. So really for the filter tricks, we need to be able to ha have the tricks array and the filter. So let's do this, right? Kind of cut this, paste it here. And we're going to cut this, paste it here as well. I, I did like, uh, I basically I m m missed the example up a little bit, but, uh, Whatever, let's go ahead and just create computer, right? So the section that it was in before, we put it in that section again. And same with the filter, it was in the data section. So again, we just create the same section as we did before and we put it there. Uh, another thing with this tricks, because we're kind of assigning it here, but the only reason we assign the tricks array and we have it here uh, is to just basically display it in this list. So this list kind of belongs with this mixin, but we don't, this is part of the problem. Okay. So we're going to, we're going to aggregate the trick in here as well. And that means we can just grab this map getters and we can put this here as well. Right. It's just going to make it a little bit easier. The only reason actually, no, what, what am I talking about? That's not meant to be there. So let's get this back in here. Uh, let's re uh, remove that space. And I think that's pretty much it. So now all we do is in here, we type in mixins, we grab an array and let's bring up the trick list in here, right? And if we give this a refresh, uh, back or flip, uh, and maybe something that doesn't exist, this still works. Okay. So the point is if you are using mixins, that's kind of like how you can put some functionality into one file export it and then surface it somewhere else through a mixin, right? Uh, the problem here with this approach uh, where you don't want to use a mixin is if a, a part of UI kind of depends on this as well, right? So uh, we, we don't want to do this because the UI and this filtered functionality is kind of tied together really. So even if we do get to sh reshare this part, uh, this UI bit doesn't get reshared. So this is where we want to move into the component, right? Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and into components. And uh, for now, I'm just going to create a view component in there. Maybe later we'll move it into a folder. Let's create a trick list, right? So trick list is pretty simple. We can go into difficulty and uh, we can grab this diff. We are not going to have the, uh, what's it called? The class on here. This is uh, the style is something that should be applied from the outside. Okay. And now we just have to fill it out with the stuff that we expect to have here. Right? So let's go ahead and because we, we were expecting to have this mix in, right? Uh, we can go ahead and uh, copy this. We can put this here. So I'm going to put a comma. And one thing that I'm going to get rid of is tricks. Okay. So this is the kind of thing that you need for this to exist. One thing is that the filter tricks depends on tricks, right? So the tricks really get loaded in the fetch function, right? So the tricks exist in the difficulty and the tricks exist in the category. The main difference between the two is the line that loads them. Okay, so there is a, a, a there is a commonality in terms of we call an API to get our tricks, 
but how we do the call depends on that particular component but they both have tricks so this is something that we're going to put back on the component all right so an empty array and from here we're going to take these tricks and we're going to be passing it down to our component trick list okay so this is where we want props this is going to be an object and for the properties each of them is going to be a parameter okay it's like we're defining a function a component is a function props are the arguments that you can pass to the function each prop is an argument and here we can also specify is it required what type it is etc so here we're going to say tricks and we're going to say that it's an object and the object really just means it's some kind of options it, they're, they're going to describe what the tricks is so first of all we're going to say that it's required so that just means i mean this component's not going to function if you don't have tricks right so it's required uh next thing that we can specify is the type and here we're going to say array okay so this is just going to help us if, if we ever misuse the component which i doubt we will this is just going to give us a nicer error okay and if you're working in a team and you're doing these sort of components and you're passing props this is when you want to essentially put a little bit of thought into what props you're going to be expecting here so if somebody's misusing your component make sure that they get a, an appropriate error so now we can essentially access tricks from within the component let's go ahead and get this component into somewhere right so uh, this tricks list uh, this mixin i'm going to go ahead and delete it if you've copied it you can leave it um i don't need it because we're, we now have the tricks list component so this component, this is where we want to surface it in the difficulty. So let's go ahead and bring it in a trick list. And we can make it self closing. We can put the class on here, right? So just the same sort of style as it as this div head. So we're so we're basically just replacing this div, right? I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. I think this is now complaining that we have a required parameter right so we need to supply the parameter uh, let's just first strip away the stuff that we don't need so this mixin we don't need it we no longer have the mixin uh, tricks stays let's put the comma there uh, let's put this here i know i do this every time i, I remove the triple dots i uh, move it back and uh, and then we end up needing it again what are you gonna do right so it looks nice like that but uh, and uh, it breaks my heart every time I have to expand it, right? Uh, for now, it's looking good. So, uh, I mean, let, let, let's get the tricks on there, right? And you just bind it like you do any other thing, right? There you go, simple. Uh, let's see if it's working. Let's refresh this and there we go, right? So test, works. There we go, uh, any errors in the console? Nope. Uh, and now we can do the same thing for the category anywhere where this trick list is going to be used we will be styling both of them so we're essentially just editing one component so if we need to come the way that we want to display these tricks will be handled now from this component and then we can take this further and further right so anywhere we want to display this the world's or the world's your oyster right so anyway uh, let's get this in so we want the trick list uh, let's get it in here we can just replace the thing uh alt enter it doesn't know what this is so let's just help it out i'm just gonna type it out one time i don't know why it can't figure it out on its own but you know what we're gonna do um I remove that uh filter tricks we no longer need that uh pray that i will not have to fix that bit back to being expanded okay and i think this is pretty much it so let's go ahead and try it out back to backflip uh, let's go to a category there it is a trust is not there test is there uh, okay backwards roll flip uh, i mean i am pretty satisfied with this uh, i think this will be it for this episode thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it leave a like subscribe if you have any questions leave them in the comment section as always, don't forget to check the description, come join the Discord channel, follow me on Twitch if you're into live streams, and hopefully I'll see you in my other episodes.